Before the story begins, type in your name either by clicking on the letters or by using the keyboard. When you are finished, click on the top leaf. If you have to leave now, click on the bottom leaf. Ah, that woman's voice is so nostalgic for me, as this was one of my earliest Barbie games. Welcome to Barbie Magic Fairy Tales, Barbie as Rapunzel. I am so excited to bring this game to the channel. I'm continuing my Barbie series. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, I ask you to please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts if you remember this game or your favorite Barbie game. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. I have a playlist in the description box for all the Barbie games on the channel and more coming soon, so feel free to check that out. I have a Twitter and Instagram you can follow and a streaming channel. The links will be down below as well. And I have a Discord server for all of you guys to come and hang out. If you need an invite link, please let me know and I'll get you one. Without further ado, let's play one of my favorite Barbie games, Barbie as Rapunzel. Enjoy. Oh, hello. Welcome to my magic garden. My name is Celinda. No need to tell me who you are. I already know. How? Because I'm your fairy godmother. Everybody has one, you know. And my favorite thing to do when I'm not tending my garden is to tell stories. What kind of stories? Why, fairy tales, of course. And today, I'd like to tell you the story of Rapunzel. If you'd like to listen while I tell the story, click on this pretty red rose. If you'd like to play along while I tell the story, just click on this lovely pink rose. To print pictures from the story that you can color yourself, click on the blue banner. To go to your favorite part of the story, click on the purple banner. And when it's time for you to leave my garden, just click on the gate. Once the story begins, you'll see a bookmark on every page that looks like this. To go on to the next page of the story, click here. To go back one page, click here. If you need a little help, just click on the shining sun. During the story, you'll help Rapunzel collect some things she needs. When you want to see what you've collected so far, just click on the velvet bag. If you want to leave the story, Click on the gate. When you want to return to my garden for a visit, just click on this lovely rose. Now it's your turn to make a little magic. Good luck. Once upon a time, in a land far away, a beautiful princess was born. Her name was Rapunzel, and she was the most beautiful baby who had ever been seen in the kingdom. But there was an ugly old witch in the kingdom who hated anything that was beautiful. She lived alone in the darkest part of the forest with only two wicked ravens for company. When she heard the news of how beautiful the new princess was, the witch went to see the baby for herself. The royal court gave Princess Rapunzel all of their attention, leaving none for the witch. Angry at being ignored and jealous of the infant's beauty, the witch used her evil magic to take a terrible revenge. One summer morning, the witch snatched up the little princess and flew away on her magic broom. They flew to a secret tower far away from the castle, where the witch locked baby Rapunzel inside. The tower had no doors or stairs. The only way in or out was a single window so high up that only the witch and the birds could fly through it. And there Rapunzel lived all alone until she was no longer a child, but had grown into a beautiful young woman.
Rapunzel had no human friends, but three birds, Twitter, Peep, and Cheep, visited every day. Her only other companion was Sullen, a grumpy magic mirror. Good morning, Twitter. Any news today? Mm, nothing unusual. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Isn't it a beautiful morning, Sullen? If you like sunshine, I suppose. The glare gives me a headache. You heard it here first, everyone. Rapunzel uses Twitter. To catch up on the news, which apparently there like is to none. Explore Rapunzel's tower, I couldn't resist. Just okay, back to the, the story. To visit the <laughs> attic, or click on the doorway to visit the kitchen. Rapunzel will never escape the tower. I'll see to that. Be lonely with us around to keep you company. Rapunzel often spent time up in the attic trying on all sorts of beautiful clothes. Click on the jewelry box, the trunk, or the chest of drawers. When you do, you'll find pictures of all your choices. Just click on the picture to put the item on Rapunzel. Anytime you want to start over, click on the pink star. To leave the game, click on either the top arrow or the bottom arrow, or go back down the stairs. Lovely. Excellent choice. Enchanting. Enchanting. Excellent choice. Excellent. 
excellent choice. Let me know in the comments down below which outfit was your favorite. The tower had a little kitchen with magic jars and cupboards that were never empty, and a bright copper pot bubbling over a cheery fire. <laughs> This is Rapunzel's favorite game. Click on the cards to play along. Rapunzel and Twitter often pass the time by playing games together. Why don't you play too? Click on any two cards to turn them over. If the pictures match, the cards will disappear. If they don't, click on two more until you find a matching pair. Keep playing until all the cards are gone from the table. Congratulations, that was wonderful. To leave the game, click on either the top arrow or the bottom arrow. To play again, click on the pink star. Isn't it a beautiful morning, Sullen? If you like sunshine, I suppose. The glare gives me a headache. I wonder what it's like out there outside of this tower. The world can be a dangerous place, Rapunzel. Cats everywhere, you know? You're safe in your nest, even if you're not always happy. I guess so, but sometimes being safe just isn't very exciting. The tower had a little kitchen with magic jars and cupboards that were never empty, and a bright copper pot bubbling over a cheery fire. <laughs> One summer day, a handsome prince named Galen was traveling through the kingdom when he passed by Rapunzel's tower. Hello up there. Can I trouble you for some water? I've been on the road for hours. I'd love to help, but there's no way in or out of this tower. Isn't he handsome? 
He's probably a prince then. They're usually handsome. Who locked you in there? A nasty old witch. Everyone in the kingdom is afraid of her. Look, Snowstorm. Isn't she beautiful? My hair might be long enough for you to use as a rope. Thanks. My name's Galen. And I'm Rapunzel. And if the witch finds out about this... <laughs> Prince Galen visited every day. He told Rapunzel about the exciting places he had seen during his travels. They were very happy together, at least for a while. I've traveled everywhere in the kingdom, except the land across the sea. But I've never met anyone as wonderful as you. I'd like to see all those places, too. Maybe someday we can see them together. Hmm. Wow! The world sure is a big place. Traveling is so pointless. You only end up coming back to where you started. So why bother? It's nice to finally have a friend. A people friend, that is. It's nice to finally have a friend. A people friend, that is. Yes, a handsome, dashing friend that just happens to be in love with you. How lucky. I wonder what happens next. Click on any character to see if you can find out. So that's why Rapunzel's been so happy lately. I'll have to get rid of that meddling prince. When Prince Galen arrived the next day, he found Rapunzel in a deep sleep. Neither he nor her other friends could wake her. Rapunzel? Rapunzel, please, open your eyes. Not even a kiss can wake her. You won't be able to wake her. The witch put her under a spell. to her. 
A wandering prince I command you to be. And only Rapunzel can set your heart free. You'll never come back to where you have been. So you'll never see Princess Rapunzel again. <laughs> When Rapunzel woke up, she learned about the witch's evil spell. Galen was lost and could never find his way back to any place he had been before, even Rapunzel's tower. And only a kiss from you can break the spell. And I'll need to give him that kiss, won't I? But the prince can't find his way back here again. Then I'll have to find him. Twitter, I need a pair of scissors, and hurry. You heard her, Twitter. Get her the scissors. Click Tweet them now. If you want to find out what she's going to do I know, I gotta come back on the Twitter post. I can't help it. You'll never make it through the forest. A nasty ogre and a fire-breathing dragon live there. I hope you know what you're doing. It will take years for your hair to grow long enough to make another rope. It's a chance I have to take. Wish me luck. Because the spell kept Galen from returning to any place he'd been before, Rapunzel knew there was only one place he could possibly go, the land across the sea. It's the only place Galen has never been before. Look, we can take this boat and sail across the sea. If you want to borrow my boat, you'll have to give me two silver shells. Silver shells? Where can I find them? Ask the dragon and the ogre, if you dare. Which way should I go now? Silver shells? I've never seen anything like that. Rapunzel found the dragon's cave deep in the forest. The dragon was very large, and Rapunzel knew she would have to be brave to get the silver shell. Excuse me, but I'm looking for a silver shell. Do you know where I might find one? I'll give you one, if you can prove yourself worthy. Help me sort my treasure, and you shall have your reward. I keep my treasure in the next cave. Just be careful not to disturb my other eggs. Look, Mom. <laughs> I keep my treasure in the next cave. Just be careful not to disturb my other eggs. First, click on a piece of treasure to pick it up. Then click on the small cave where you think it belongs. Each cave holds more than one piece of treasure, so be sure to pick up all the pieces. If you need a hint, look at the drawings underneath each small cave.
You got it. You got it. Good work. You've helped Rapunzel get a silver shell. To leave this game and continue your adventure, click on either the top arrow or the bottom arrow. If you want to sort more of the dragon's treasure just for fun, click on the pink star. You've done well. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you, ma'am. Rapunzel found the ogre's cottage, but the ogre was very grouchy. Maybe he would give her a silver shell just to make her go away. Excuse me, but I'm looking for a silver shell. Do you know where I might find one? Can't you see I'm busy? Go get it yourself. If you can find your way through my maze, nobody else has. To begin, move the cursor over the pink rose, hold down the button on your mouse, and then lead the rose through the maze. Bravo! You've helped Rapunzel get a silver shell. To leave this game and continue your adventure, click on either the top arrow or the bottom arrow. If you want to try another maze just for fun, click on the pink star. A silver shell? How did you... Get out of my forest! Gladly! My boat is yours, but let me give you a gift before you go. A beautiful gold key that I found washed up on the sand. Now where did I? It's in one of these shells, but which one? Thank you for the boat and the key. Come on, Twitter. Once we get across the sea, we're sure to find Galen. After crossing the sea, Rapunzel came to a village where everyone was getting ready for a big wedding. She hoped that someone in this busy place had seen Galen. Have you seen a handsome prince on a white horse ride through here today? If I did, dearie, I'd keep him for myself. I saw a prince today. He was so handsome. If you can get me some bread for my geese and some ribbons for my hair, I'll tell you which way he went. 
I wish I could be a bridesmaid. I'm hungry. When do we eat? She's going to be a lovely bride. The groom is a lucky man. <laughs> Rapunzel went to the village dress shop, where she met a dressmaker hurrying to finish the bridesmaid's dresses in time for the wedding. I'd like some hair ribbons, but I have no money. Never mind. I need help finishing these bridesmaid's dresses. The wedding starts in less than an hour, and the dresses are all wrong. If you help me, I'll give you some ribbons for free. I'll do my best to help you. The dresses are in the back. Good luck. Each of the dresses should be all one color, one yellow dress, one purple dress, and so on. To fix them, first click on any part of any dress. Then click again where you want that part to go. When each dress is all one color, you're done. That's better. Nicely done. To leave this game and continue your adventure, click on either the top arrow or the bottom arrow, or you can click on the pink star to fix up some other dresses just for fun. Here are the ribbons I promised. Now I've got to hurry and get these dresses to the castle. Thank you, ma'am. Now, all I need is some bread. Mmm, I smell fresh bread at the bakery. Rapunzel went to the village bakery, where the baker was making a beautiful cake for the wedding. I'd like a loaf of bread, sir. But I'm afraid I have no money. No money, eh? Well, I need some help finishing up this wedding cake. The Duchess is getting married today, and this cake has to be at the castle within the hour. If you can help me, I'll give you some bread for free. is in the back room. I really need your help. First, click on one of the boxes where the decorations are kept. The picture on the outside of the box matches what's inside. Then click on the cake where you think that decoration should go. If you have the gold key from the River Fairy, you'll get a special surprise. Click on the box with the lock to find it. Excellent job!
Excellent job! Excellent job! What a beautiful cake. To leave this game and continue your adventure, click on either the top arrow or the bottom arrow, or click on the pink star to decorate another cake just for fun. Here's your bread, young lady. The bride will be delighted with her wedding cake. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I saw a handsome prince riding toward the mountains just north of here. He looked like he was lost. That's him! I just know Rapunzel will find Prince Galen soon. Click on Rapunzel to help her find the prince. I'd better hurry there now. Thank you! At long last, Rapunzel found Prince Galen, right where the girl said he would be. And with a kiss, Rapunzel broke the evil spell. Rapunzel, where... Uh, how did you find me? Well, I had a lot of help along the way. We met a dragon with a cave full of treasure and an ogre who tried to trap us in his maze. Sounds like quite an adventure. I've missed you. We'll never be completely happy as long as the witch is free. Everyone in the kingdom is afraid of her evil spells. I have an idea. Let's go back to the tower. Rapunzel and Galen returned home. They hid near the witch's house while Twitter helped carry out their plan for getting rid of the witch forever. Too bad Rapunzel left her diamond necklace when she escaped from the tower. It must be worth more than a chest full of gold. <laughs> so far, so good. I can't wait to find out if their plan works. I sure hope that Raven believed me. I 
hope our plan works. <laughs> Go away. I'm casting a spell. While the witch searched for the necklace, Peep and Cheep stole her magic broom. She was furious when the broom disappeared, for without it she was powerless. Where did she hide that blasted necklace? Hey, come back here! No! Give me back my broom! The witch's broom is very powerful. Click on it again to help break it in two. Come on, you can do it! Crying. There. All her evil magic is gone. She won't cause trouble for anyone ever again. Wait! You can't just leave me up here. Don't worry. Sullen will keep you company. Won't you, Sullen? Oh, I suppose. But I won't show her reflection. That's sure to give me a headache. With the witch safely trapped in the tower, no one in the kingdom had to be afraid of her ever again. Rapunzel and Prince Galen rode away together. And, as you might expect, they lived happily ever after. Wasn't that a wonderful story? What would you like to do now? Well, everyone, that concludes the wonderful story of Barbie as Rapunzel. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. What a wonderful game. I loved this so much when I was a little girl. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts, what your favorite part of the story was, and subscribe. For more nostalgic gaming, if you'd like to listen, check while out the playlist I tell the story, in the description click box. Click on this pretty red rose. Hold on, fairy godmother. If you'd like to play along, I'm not done. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Uh, be sure to check out the playlist in the description box to see the other Barbie games and more will be coming soon. Until the next video, remember you are special and loved. You are never alone, and you're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. God bless. I'll see you all later. Bye bye, my friends. see a bookmark on every page that looks like this. To go on to the next page of the story, click here. Are you sure you have to leave? I'll save your place until next time. Come back soon.